In a world obsessed with the glitz and glamour of well-known monarchies, there lies a hidden realm of royal opulence that few have ever glimpsed. Can you guess what we're talking about? They're unknown royal houses. These royal houses don't get the limelight. That said, this doesn't mean that they're not rich. These houses possess a lot of wealth, which remains hidden from the public eye. Therefore, in today's video, we're talking about the 12 richest unknown royal houses in the world. So without further ado, let's begin. At number 12, we've got the House of Waldeck and Pyramon of the Holy Roman Empire. Empire. It boasts a rich and extensive history dating back to the 12th century. This noble family's origins can be traced back to the Counts of Schwalenberg, with Wydekind the I, who reigned from 1127 to 1136, being the first known member. The family's prominence grew significantly in 1118 when Volkwin the II of Schwalenberg married Lutgard, the heiress of Waldeck, thereby acquiring Waldeck Castle and establishing the country of Waldeck as a fief of the electorate of Mainz. As of the current date, the head of the House of Waldeck and Parmont is the grandson of Prince Frederick and has been identified as the current heir to the throne and head of the house. It is a rich house in Europe. However, the main wealth and assets of the House of Waldeck and Parmont have gone through significant changes since the dissolution of the principality in 1918. The house historically controlled several territories and properties, including Waldeck Castle, which overlooks the Edder River. This castle was first attested in 1120 and became a significant seat of power of family. It has Erlson, which is the capital of the principality from 1655. Erlson was a central location for the administration of the house's territories. All these make them really rich, and their estimated net worth is $20 million. Next, we've got the House of Glucksburg, Denmark. Officially known as the House of Schleswig, Holstein, Soderberg, Glucksburg, it is a prominent European royal house with a rich history dating back to the 11th century. It is a cadet branch of the House of Oldenburg, one of Europe's oldest royal families. The specific Glucksburg branch was established July 6, 1825, when King Frederick VI of Denmark granted the title of Duke of Schleswig Holstein Sonnenberg Glucksburg to Frederick William, Duke of Holstein Sonnenberg. The ancestral seat of the House Glucksburg Castle remains a significant asset. It's owned by the current head of the House of Glucksburg. Castle's maintenance and preservation have been supported by both European Union and the State Office for Preservation of Monuments. Even though the house faced several financial setbacks later, it remains a a rich and prominent family in Europe. Naturally, its wealth is on the higher side. The estimated net worth of this house is $70 million. Next, we've got the House of Oldenburg, Germany. It is a prominent European royal dynasty with roots tracing back to the 11th century in northern Germany. The primogenitor of the Oldenburg line was Elmar I, Count of Oldenburg, born around 1040. The family's ancestral home, Oldenburg Castle, has been a significant seat of power since the 12th century, with archaeological evidence suggesting settlement in the area dating back to the 8th century. As of the current date, the head of the House of Oldenburg is Frederick Ferdinand, hereditary prince of Schleswig Holstein. He assumed this position following the death of Christoph, Prince of Schleswig Holstein in 2023. Frederick Ferdinand is part of the Schleswig Holstein Sonnenberg Glutzberg branch, which is a cadet branch of the House of Oldenburg. This historic wealth of the House of Oldenburg was substantial, deeply rooted in its territorial holding and royal connections. The House of Oldenburg historically held significant territories and titles across Europe, including the kingdoms of Denmark, Norway, and Greece, as well as the Duchess of Schleswig and Holstein, the ancestral home of the family. Oldenburg Castle remains a significant property. It is now owned by a foundation, headed by its current House of Oldenburg. The family's wealth includes historical properties, investments, and revenues generated from these assets. The estimated net worth of the house is $70 million. And at number 9, we've got the House of Two Bourbon Sicilies of Italy. The house specifically emerged in the 18th century, marking a significant chapter in Italian history. The establishment of this branch is attributed to Charles of Bourbon, a younger son of King Philip V of Spain. It is a pivotal moment at the time of Polish succession. Charles conquered the kingdoms of Naples and Sicily in 1734. This conquest led to his coronation as king of Naples and Sicily in 1735, officially inaugurating Bourbon rule in southern Italy. The leadership of the House of Bourbon II Sicilies is currently a matter of dispute, with two branches claiming the headship of the house. This succession dispute has been ongoing since 1960. It involves the senior Calabrian line and the junior Castro line. The Bourbon II Sicilies dynasty owns vast lands and 
properties, including a grand palace that served as symbols of their wealth and power. The royal palace of Caserta, often referred to as Italian Versailles due to its grandeur, stands as the prime example of the family's opulent holdings. The family still maintains connections to historical residences that hold significant cultural and economic value, include the Chinese palace of Palermo and the Facuso hunting lot, which are open to tourists and serve as reminders of the dynasty's historical presence. The estimated net worth of the house is $100 million. Next, we've got the House of Bourbon Parma of Spain. It is a distinguished cadet branch of the Spanish royal family with roots tracing back to the French Capuchin dynasty. It was established October 18, 1748, marking a significant moment in European royal history. The foundation of this noble house is intrinsically linked to the complex political landscape of the 18th century in Europe, particularly the outcomes of the war over the Austrian succession. The current head of the House of Bourbon Parma is Prince Carlos, Duke of Parma, and he is Enzo. Born January 27, 1970 in the Netherlands, Prince Carlos is also a member of the Dutch royal family. The historical wealth of the House of Bourbon Parma was considerable, rooted in its royal status and extent of holdings. The family inherited the Farnese art collection, one of the greatest in the world, which is now primarily residing in Naples. The Farnese family, predecessors of the Bourbon Parmas, constructed grand palaces in Rome and the Roman countryside, which became part of the Bourbon Parma heritage. The family owned significant estates in Italy and Austria, notably they possessed the famous Charbord Castle in France, which was subject to legal disputes over ownership. Family holds properties in the Italian regions of Parma and Piacenza, central to their ducal titles and influence. These make the house a rich family. Its estimated net worth is $107 million. At number seven, we've got the House of Hohenzollern of Germany. It is a historical significant German noble family with roots tracing back to the 11th century in the regions of Swabia in Germany. The earliest documentation mentioned of the family dates back to 1061, when Burkhard I, Count of Zollern, was noted in the annals of the Benedictine monk, Berthold of Rhine. The family derives its name from the Hohenzollern Castle, located in the Hohenzollern Mountains in Swabia, which remains in their ownership to this day. The current head of the House of Hohenzollern is George Frederick, Prince of Prussia. He has held the position since the 26th of September 1994, succeeding his grandfather, Louis Ferdinand. The historical wealth of the House of Hohenzollern Zollern was built on extensive land holdings, castles, and art collections. The Holhenzollerns owned numerous castles, including Holhenzollern Castle, Berlin Palace, Sabsuche, and Sicilian Hof Palace. The families amassed wealth of collection of art and cultural artifacts, including paintings, sculptures, and historical documents. The acquisition of territories such as Brandenburg, Prussia, and later parts of Poland and Lithuania contributed significantly to their wealth. The family has been engaged in long-standing legal battles to reclaim property and assets confiscated after World War II. This includes a vast collection of over 10,000 items ranging from artworks to historical heirlooms. These make the house a rich family. Their estimated net worth is $152 million. Next, we've got the House of Braganza of Portugal. Known in Portuguese as the Serenissima Casa Braganza, this is a prominent royal dynasty that has played a pivotal role in the history of Portugal and Brazil. It was founded in 1442 by Alfonso I, the first Duke of Braganza, who was was an illegitimate son of King John I of Portugal from the House of Aviz. This founding marked the beginning of a dynasty that would become one of the most influential noble families in Iberia during the Renaissance period. The current head of the House of Braganza is Dom Duarte Pior Braganza, born May 15, 1945. He holds the title of the 24th Duke of Braganza and is recognized by the Portuguese monarchists as the pretender to the defunct Portuguese throne. Dom is a member of the Bengulis branch of the House of Braganza, descended from King Miguel I of Portugal. While the House of Braganza no longer holds the vast wealth and political power it once did, it still maintains significant assets and cultural influence. The family continues to hold significant real estate assets, particularly in Portugal. They also earn a feudal tax called Lodimio, which is a 2.5% of the selling price of real estate, all based out of Petropolis, Brazil. These make the house a rich family. The estimated net worth of the house is $200 million. At number five, we've got the House of Wittelsbach of Germany. It is a prominent European royal dynasty with a rich history spanning back nearly a millennium. The House of Wittelsbach traces its roots back to the 11th century, deriving its name from Wittelsburg Castle in Bavaria. The dynasty's founder is considered to be Otto the Count of Schaern, who died in 1071. The family's association with the Wittelsbach name began in 1119, when they moved from their residence in Wittelsbach Castle. The current head of the House of Wittelsbach is France, Duke of Bavaria, who's held this position since 1996. 
Born in 1933, Franz celebrated his 19th birthday in Munich in 2023. He resides in the Nymphenburg Palace, a significant location for the family. The House of Wittelbach maintains its significant wealth and assets managed through the Wittelbach's Compensation Fund, established in 1923. This fund includes Nymphenburg Palace, Berg Palace, De Giersi Abbey, Wildenwart, Ludensen, and Kaltenburg Castles. Extensive agricultural and forestry lands as well. The house also has businesses which include Dugal Bavarian Brewery, of Tiergiersi, Koenig Ludwig Schloss Braunhauerei, Ninfenberg Porcelain Manufacturing. Its financial holdings include the Wittelsbach Compensation Fund, owning urban real estate in Munich, generating around $15 million annually as well. These make the house rich and prosperous family. The estimated net worth of the house is $500 million. Next, we've got the House of Obrenovic of Serbia. The dynasty was founded by Milos Obrenovic I, who emerged as leader during the Second Serbian Uprising against the Ottoman Empire in 1815. This uprising led to the establishment of the Principality of Serbia in 1817, with Milos as the first prince. Milos I, known for his diplomatic skills despite being illiterate, was instrumental in negotiating Serbia's autonomy from the Ottoman Empire. In a meeting held early July 2015, HRH Prince Pridrag Obremovic Jakovic was confirmed as the head of the family of the royal house. Another claimant to the throne of the Obremovic dynasty is Nikola Petrovic Negarek. As major landowners in Serbia, the Obremovic family likely controlled vast tracts of agriculture and urban land. In the 19th 19th century, land was a primary source of wealth. If we conservatively estimate their holdings at 10% of Serbia's arable land, this alone would be worth millions in today's currency. The multiple residencies owned by the family, including palaces and estates, would have been extremely valuable. A single palace in Vienna during the 19th century could be worth tens of millions in today's currency. Collectively, these properties could easily be valued in the hundreds of millions. The families possessing significant collections of jewelry, art, and other values potentially worth tens of millions themselves in today's terms as well. The estimated net worth of the house is above $500 million. And at number three, we've got the House of Habsburg Lorraine of Austria. It is a prominent European dynasty with a rich and complex history, and it has played a significant role in shaping the political landscape of Europe for centuries. The House of Habsburg Lorraine originated from the strategic union of two influential European dynasties, the House of Habsburg and the House of Lorraine. This merger was formalized through the marriage of Maria Theresa of Austria, the last of the Habsburg line, to Francis Stephen. Lorraine in 1736. The current head of the House of Habsburg Lorraine is Karl van Habsburg, born January 11, 1961, in Stamberg, Bavaria, Germany. He is the son of Otto von Habsburg, the last crown prince of Austria-Hungary, and the Regina of Saxe-Meninga. Karl assumed the position of the head of the house following the death of his father in 2011. The current wealth and assets of the House of Habsburg Lorraine are complex and have been significantly affected by historical events and legal challenges. After the fall of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, in 1918, the Habsburg Law of 1919 transferred many of the family assets to the Austrian state. This included both Aulic and Tide assets, while their private assets remained with the family. The current net worth of the Habsburg family is estimated to be significant, from approximately $2.9 billion and even more. This wide range reflects the complexities and historical depth of their wealth. Next, we've got the House of Austria Este, Belgium. Also known as the House of Habsburg Este, it is the debt branch of the illustrious House of Habsburg-Lorraine, with roots tracing back to its ancient House of Este. This noble lineage was established in 1771 through a strategic marriage between the Archduke Ferdinand of Habsburg-Lorraine and Maria Beatrice de Este, the sole daughter and heiress of Ercole III de Este, Duke of Modena. This union was carefully orchestrated to ensure the continuation of Este lineage and to secure their substantial possessions as the male line of the Este family was on the brink of extinction. As of November 2024, the head of the House of Austria Este is Prince Lorenz, Belgium Archduke of Austria Este. He is the head of this position since 1996, representing the continuum of this historic lineage into the 21st century. The financial status of the house is closely intertwined with the broader fortunes of the Habsburg family. The dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1918 led to significant legal challenges regarding the Habsburg assets. The Habsburg Law of 1919 transferred many of their properties to the new Austrian state, although some private assets remain 
remained with the family. The family maintained significant cultural and historical importance, even if their direct political influence has waned over the centuries. The estimated net worth at this house is $4 billion. And at number one, we've got the House of Savoy of Italy. It traces its roots back to the early medieval period with its foundations attributed to Humbert I, known as Humbert the White-Handed, around the year 1003. Humbert I, a knight of the Holy Roman Empire, played a crucial role in consolidating power in the region of Savoy, located in the Alpine area between modern-day France and Italy. The current leadership of the House of Savoy is subject of dispute, with two branches of the family claiming headship. First is Prince Emmanuel Filiberto, who is known as the Prince of Venice. He is recognized by some as the head of the House of Savoy following the death of his father, Prince Vittorio Emmanuel in February 2024. Second is Prince Aimone, Duke of Aosta, who is supposed by some Italian monarchists as the legitimate head of the House of Savoy. The House of Savoy has historically accumulated significant wealth through territorial expansions, political allegiances, and marriages. Their asset included numerous palaces, states, art collections, and crown jewels. The family has been involved in legal efforts to reclaim some of their historical assets, particularly the family jewels held by the Italian government since the monarchy's abolition. These jewels are estimated to be worth 334 million alone. These make the house rich and predominant as a family. The estimated net worth of the house in total is $100 billion. And with this, we wrap this video. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you find our channel interesting, and subscribe to it. Thank you. See you in the next video.